Here is problem 35 from chapter 3, lesson 4. If you read just above the problem, it says, use the additional fact that AC is greater than 2AB. All right, so that's the additional fact. We have to keep that in mind. AC is greater than 2AB. That's an additional fact that's given. Supply the missing statements and reasons in this indirect proof. So it's an indirect proof. So by definition, our first statement will be suppose not whatever we're trying to prove. And we're trying to prove that B is not the midpoint of AC. So our first assumption will be suppose the opposite of that. Suppose that B is the midpoint of AC. Again, we're back to this line. All right? So if B is the midpoint, then of AC, then AB equals BC. So what it's saying is, if this is actually the midpoint, then this length has to equal that length. And that is the definition of midpoint, right? Um, and my reasoning would be mid, the midpoint divides a segment into two equal parts. The midpoint, if it is the midpoint, then it divides it into two equal parts. Here's my two equal parts. Now, because AB plus BC equals AC, so that part is given, then why, how do I get from this statement to this statement? So AC doesn't change on this side of the equal sign, but this side, AB plus BC, is now 2AB. And how did they do that? In the previous one, we said AB equals BC. So for BC, I substituted in AB, which leaves me with 2AB. So that's substitution. All right, now, what does this contradict? 2AB equals AC. It contradicts what was originally given. AC is greater than 2AB. So the contradiction is 2AB cannot equal AC because AC is greater than 2AB. So the conclusion is not what we originally supposed, which is the opposite of what we were trying to prove, but actually what we were trying to prove is true. So the conclusion was, is, B is not, it is not the midpoint of segment AC.